Uh, hello everybody and welcome once again to my studio. Um, I had some very nice things said about uh, my new York painting. The only person who was upset about was Mr. Trump because I left his tower out. I'm sorry about that. Now this week we're going to have a go at one of my favourite paintings because uh, many years ago, 1956, I lived in Canada, quite near the uh, Rocky Mountains. And I've got up here some beautiful pictures of the things I saw. So I'm going to do a very easy one today of the, of the Rockies and the, the trees. So I hope you'll enjoy it with me. Right, uh, my, the colours I'm using today, uh, I've got black. I've got um, um, ultramarine, I've got uh, cerulean, a dark green, a sap green and a white and that's all the colours I'm going to need for this painting. Right, okay. right I'm going to start with putting in a, a really dark sky because this painting is going to be in the evening like a moonlight. So I'm mixing up for a start my ultramarine and I'm going to do one third of the top of that colour. Right, we've got to get a, a night sky in. Whoops, easy. Now I'm going to move down to the cerulean now, come down to about halfway Try and blend it in well with the um, ultramarine. There's more. Nice and smooth right the way across. Now I'm going to mix the ceridium with some white, so take the white first, mix the ceridium with it. And the rest of the picture will be that this pale mixture here. Bring it right down. A touch more white, right across. Let's blend it all in.
a little lighter. Right, now we have our evening sky. I'll take a small brush and we're going to put somewhere where we can uh, stand our trees on. So let's go along the bottom. Black, nice, strong black. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight. At the end here, just lift it up a little bit like that. So, now we're going to put in our, our trees. I'm going to have a set of trees to take you right into the picture. Now we start with a just a trunk here to start off with. Alright, we're going to work on the green now. Now the trees are very pointed so you can bring them down. Flare them out at the bottom. I want to thicken up the trunk a little bit. So, right, let's take the next one down. Again, a little bit further away this time, a bit, uh, a bit shorter. As things get further away, it's a strange thing, they get smaller, don't they? Back to the green again. Doesn't matter if they overlap. Right, so. Right, we're going to the next one down. A little bit smaller. Wash your brush thoroughly. Every time you change colour.
Right, and thicken that trunk up again. And down again. More still. Keep going down. Wash your brush. Down. Just a couple more over there. It's quite simple, it's quite straightforward. I'm not uh, doing anything difficult because you know, a full painting like this will probably take about four or five hours. I'm trying to keep it straightforward, quite simple, so anyone can have a go. Again, a bit thicken on there. In the background you're going to get some uh, a lot of movement going on behind there so it won't be um, absolutely flat. Right, I think we can get one more in there. Little one. Now as, get, as I said, any, as things get further away, they get smaller. So I'm going to change my brush, and in the distance, we're going to put some trees in here. But they're, they're much smaller, and they're much fainter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take out that dark green, and go on to a lighter green. And all I'm going to do is to just suggest them like this. Uh, right in the very distant.
I think that's our trays done. That side. Now you can take Right. Um, I said we we're going to do a moonlight shot, so this is where the fun starts. We're going to put a moon in up here, must be up there somewhere. So it's the division between the sedium and the, um, the, the much dark one. So I'm going to pop it up here. So you find that that um, it may you may need another coat on that one, and of course all the way around the moon there's a sort of aura. So be very careful with this because you don't want to touch. I don't want to touch the moon at all. Just go around like that. So I really have washed my brush out. I've got the movement there. Right. Now we're coming on to the Rockies now. The Rocky Mountains. Now back to my favourite brush. <laughs> Wash it out well. Now the mountains you need a very dark grey and you need a little touch of blue. So let's start with the white. I told you this before. Start with the white and then add the whatever you want to it to get the grey. It's got to be a dark grey though. That's about it. I've got a lot of your, um, finishing off to do. I don't think this is a finished picture by any means. Right, we're going to put our mountains on this side. I don't know why it is. I always work from left to right. I, I never seem to work the other way. I don't know. Right. Not dark enough. Still not dark enough. More. I'll keep my eyes on the on the um, trees, otherwise I'm going to overrun. I'm going to take that slope in at the end like that. Mm. 
All right, now we're going to fill her in. Now once, once she's set, let's put a bit more Must have missed that out. Mm -hmm. Right, we're set at the moment. I think we want to be a little bit lighter there, on there. I'll just let those mountains dry for a minute and uh, let's have a look back at anything else we've got. Right, <clears throat> let me just put in some little bit of work here. Now here, along the front of the mountains, we can put a few more trees there. This is the same colour as the one over here, so just you can suggest them like that. All the way to the front of the mountain here.
I think we'll just talk on these a little bit. That's better. Now, I think we should have a roadway somewhere coming in, so let's see what we can do. What I'm trying to try and do, I'm going to put a roadway in here just to, so that we're, it, lead, it leads us into the picture. As it's in moonlight, we want the actual road will show up. Put a little bit more colour in there. Now we can put some the light on the mountains. So a little fine brush. Where's it gone? Oh yeah. Make sure it's nice and nice and clean. I'm going to take some white and we'll come down this mountain side. So we get the moonlight on the actual mountain itself. Up to the top. Again, just suggest it as it comes down. <clears throat> oh, I think we'll give our moon another coat. Right, we can put a little bit more along here because obviously there's going to be lots more um, forest behind here. So you can fill this in like that just to give it um, 
a feeling like that. Now, my favourite bit is putting in the stars. Don't get greedy. Don't go put 500 stars in, <laughs> like some people do. Oops, that's it. Too big. <laughs> Let's take that one out. A bit of clouds in the distance there. hope you've had a good time doing that it's not difficult and if um, if you're gonna if you photograph it and bring it in we'll have another competition oh, so the uh, winner from last week's competition is a gentleman called Andrew Seymour and um, I just liked it because it's got a very good balance of color and that to me that's very important also um, I don't know about you, but I like something that's got a traumatic feel in a picture, so it's not flat. A good picture is one that will stop you in a picture gallery. If you've got to, you walk by all the other, all the others, and suddenly one will will stop you dead, and that's the one that the artist has really thought about it and has captured you. So and that's what art's all about. Uh, next time. Um, I'm going to do a drawing. Uh, it's really for all of you and, and the kids as well. So I think they'll enjoy it. Um, so you better get your pencils sharpened. Um, a good artist has got a drawing. So what I suggest is there's anything in your house, now you've got all this time, if there's anything in the house that you'd like to draw, get hold of it, stick it on the table or wherever you are and draw it. But anything at all, any small object, have a look. You, you've got to train your eyes. That's what it's all about. Training your eyes to see things. Look at the um, shadow. Look at the um, shading and the colour. And the, don't worry about the colour, but just the getting the outlines right. Uh, keep safe. Keep well. And happy painting. Hope to see you next time. Thank you.